Um, I know we talked about it a few shows ago. Crown Jewels coming up on November second. Okay. Uh, it's just you know we talked about Cody and Gunther, uh, Naya and Liv. my main man Gunther, soon to be the Crown Jewel <laughs> champion, baby. That's a huge belt too, by the way. That's the I wish they would point out like how much it cost. Like they used to do with the million dollar belt. Like they brought it to a jeweler and saw how it cost like thousands or whatever millions of dollars. It's gonna cover up his whole midsection all the way down to his <laughs> knees. It's. Yeah, I, I want to. It's. I don't know why they're doing the belt, but uh, anyway. it looks like body armor. <laughs> I know it's it's huge, man. <laughs> you can put it on your back like a shell, pretty much. Uh, but it, I think they just added uh, this week too. You got Rollins will face a Reed at Crown Jewel. <sighs> what do you think about this? Because I feel like every time we see Reed, it's just him backstage beating oh, up people going through cars. No. See, I f-ing hated this week's Raw. Yeah, I couldn't stand that because you did that for weeks and weeks and weeks with Braun Strowman, right? Yeah, and. It worked when you had two monsters who were just... Re- like, I remember they were opening up Raw that one week with Mysterio and yeah. Liv coming in the, the car. And they get in, they start walking in the arena, and then you just see Strowman and Bronson Reed beating the shit out of each other. Yeah. Cool. It doesn't work when it's Seth Rollins. It's really like the way they've positioned his character as this... W- Whatever the hell he is now, <laughs> he's, is he still the architect? What is he now? I thought he was injured, and then he was out for a while. Now he's fine, I guess. Yeah, and but. they used Bronson, like they yeah. used Seth Rollins to give Braun Strowman like the win in that monsters versus monster last man standing yeah. match. I don't feel like I've seen Braun since. Yep. It's like the guy who lost the match is now randomly <laughs> three or four times getting in a <laughs> backstage fight with Seth freaking Rollins, and it, it's mind boggling yeah. because it's like okay. We've seen this before, and I think if you spread it out and do it sporadically, it's okay. But at the same time, it's like you just got finished doing this with the same f***ing guy. <laughs> yep. What the f*** are we doing, Credo? No, I know, man, and it's uh, – I'm not a fan of Reed. I think he's not, he's probably going to be made on the list, but I'm not a fan of his because be the they, keep building him as, uh, they keep building him up as a monster, and he's not a monster. He's, t- he's not that big. He's – I, they love his accent. You about to body shame him, Credo? <laughs> body shame. You about to body shame him? There's leather going on on the inside of his legs. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> wear pants, man. Just wear pants. It's okay. You're Maybe we guy. should give him Nia Jax's old mud flaps. Mm. I think we can market it for him and see what happens. But there we uh, go. You know, speaking of uh, Nia Jax, though, Nia Jax is going to go against Liv Morgan, though, too, at this uh, pay-per-view. The one thing, I don't care about the match or who's going to win it, but... Do you think it's time for the cash in yet, or no? Are we going to still hold on to this cash in? Tiffy time. Yeah, I mean it's something big to pull at this kind of event to where it. They only do a few matches, right? It's not like this big, long drawn AEW Wrestle Dream card, like where it has fifty matches on it. It's like a good five matches or so, and they've done a great job with building this little thing because we know, you know, they're not they're on separate rosters. Yeah, and they've been kind of going to each other's shows, and it's been kind of cool. But hey, you got. Uh, was it was it Raquel Gonzalez is her name? That's it. Okay, the back flex. I can't yeah, do it. Dude, <sighs> that girl is huge. But like you, you know, you have a heater who could maybe help Liv get the win and maybe beat the crap out of Nia enough for Tiffy to cash in on Nia. Yeah. Because who does she cash in on? I mean, I guess technically she can cash in on either one. Yep. So whoever gets their ass kicked, that is the most vulnerable. This would be a great time. But see, here's the other thing. Do you do that in Saudi Arabia when, like... Oh, I know, yeah. It's, it's weird. I don't know if they can That's get away true. with that there. I mean, I think they should go for it. And are they going to be, like, forced to be, like, Covered head to toe. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's like the, other the rule. They have to cover their skin. They'll, only their hands and face or whatever can show. Yeah. So I don't know how that's going to work. I mean, it, 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 I think it's a great idea. If if it ever was a time to do it, it should be there, don't you think? I always thought when Vince was still running it that he would do some BS thing to where oh their wardrobe malfunction in Saudi Arabia. You think he'd get killed? I think he'd probably get killed. Like if you know what I mean? Like if something what happened. if at one point your knocker split the <laughs> leather open? I'm saying that's what I always thought that that's from the beginning. Good shit. And then I'm like, well, they're probably gonna get killed after that because if that I don't know what the rules are over there. Like can they get killed? Can they cut, cut their head I off? I think or? yeah, I think it's a beheading if like <laughs> keep it closed. If you keep have a covered, Janet girls. Jackson nip slip, I mean <laughs> <laughs> Try to be risque, and that's that would be like the biggest thing ever over there in their world, and like they would they would probably never be welcome back. So uh, no, but I, I think I, I would like to see a cash in because it would be something different for this pay per view um, because the, the the championships aren't on the line. It's just to get the crown jewel, which okay, that's cool enough. But I don't know. I'm still I feel this whole feud as good as it kind of been for Tiffy time is that it's not. 
I think it kind of killed her reaction a little bit. She was getting some big pops. Like, a lot of people really like cheering for her, and I feel that's kind of, like, stunted it a little bit. But it's helping her grow in this. I'm just like, I don't know. I think just put it on her right now. I, I, always, the... I always, I agree with you, because I call this the Samoa Joe problem. Yeah. It's like... For years and years and years, they should have put that world title on them, and then by the time they finally did it, nobody cared. Yeah, I know. And, and it's just like you, you took all the steam out of yeah, what could have been really great. I agree with you, dude. Yeah.